started talking about. Don't you think we need to make a new series? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Abby, Abby, Abby. <laughs> you have four kids, one dog, a turtle, a rabbit, <laughs> a husband. <laughs> and then my two kids added to your four. <laughs> and many other things to do, sit still. <laughs> no, 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 don't you think? Abby, Abby. <laughs> But over the last few years, Abby, Jeannie, and Pam have managed to turn this interviews of women into a fantastic five-part series. And my joy for this series is that it is the myth buster. Right. Victims. How do you think we survive? during conflict. I have two babies, heavily pregnant, and I walk five hours to my parents' house. Is that what victims do? No. We are fighters, survivors, not victims. And as I meditated last night, what do I say? I thought about some of our experiences that may never, and that's the experiences of women, that may never get on the screen. You are taught to tie your waist during war tight to ease the pains and pangs of hunger. And you tie your waist, if you take this, and you tie your waist really tight. Tight, and you're going. Because if you have one cup of rice, it goes to the kids. If you have money to deliver to some family members, you roll it like this and braid it in your hair. Sometimes if the bills are too big, you wear it as a pad and pray that you don't get raped along the way. Is that what victims do? Those are acts of survivors, brave people, walking and cutting through checkpoints, dodging bullets, is that what victims do? Even when they've been raped, they never lay back and say, oh my God, I feel so sore down there. You have to get up with dignity and keep your community together. One of the women that was in the forefront of our activism told the story once of how the fighters came, raped her, but asked for two sons to hold both legs. And then afterwards, use her sweater to wipe themselves off and ask her to put it back on. And we asked, how did you face your son? She said, how else was I supposed to face them? I continued to be the mother. I continued to go out there and feed them. Today, I've seen them through universities, and they are dignified men in this country. And between my three boys, you, my sisters, are the first group of people to hear this story. Is that the story of a victim? That's the story of a survivor. So Abby, Jenny, and Pam, I thank you from the depth of my heart for bringing the story of victory, the story of revolutionaries to the big stream in this country, the stories that would never come on screen or no one would have heard, the stories of me, my sisters in Afghanistan, Congo, everywhere. This is a universal story. And if you ever thought, because we live through war, we are victims, start thinking twice. Thank you. Thank uh you. -huh.